Bien, dans le cadre des énergies renouvelables, nous allons parler du... Regarding renewable energy, I'd like to tell you about energy storage, which is a uh, horizontal subject. It has to do with all renewable energies. And uh, first, I would like to tell you why renewable energies need to be stored, what kind of solutions we can uh, provide, what are the various uh, management modes, the various concepts that allow to store energy. And finally, I will tell you about uh, storage characteristics. Why store energy when using renewable energies? Because most renewable energy sources are affected by intermittence or variability. Some intermittent conditions can be planned. We know that there is sun during the day, but not at night. That is predictable. During the day, we know that the sun in the middle of the day does not have the same power as uh, early in the morning or late in the afternoon. This kind of variability can be foreseen. Also, we can take uh, into consideration the seasonal aspect. And this can be managed for storage purposes. But sometimes uh, there are variations that are not predictable. For instance, uh, a nice shiny day and all of a sudden there's a cloud. And this can must be managed because it could lead to disruptions in the system. There is also the need uh, to uh, manage mismatch between the uh, resource availability and the energy demand. In some African countries, people are in the field during the day while the photovoltaic plant could provide a lot of electrical power, except they don't need power at that particular time. So there is a mismatch between availability and demand. Sometimes we also have a problem of mismatch between the need in terms of uh, power temperature in the source and the demand say that heat is available thanks to a solar collector at uh, 70 degrees, except that at that particular time, cold is needed more than heat. And in this case, storage can provide solutions not only to store energy, but also convert energy into um, more available and more usable forms. What are the um, constraints? Well, storage does not have a single function. There are several functions. There is production, storage, the most frequent one, the one we think about. And in this case, storage is used to produce energy when the source is no longer available. Then we have protection storage. For instance, uh, if a uh, cloud comes in the sky, this may lead to disruption or even thermomechanical constraints that might break the solar cell. And in that case, the protection storage will protect the equipment more than store the energy. And there is also management storage for a uh, thermodynamic concentration uh, power plant that collect solar radiation to produce electrical power. Inside the unit, there is a storage device that protects the electric block from the solar field. It's only there to manage and optimize production and to allow the system to operate adequately. There is also conversion storage that I mentioned earlier, where the storage system is used to produce cold from heat or to produce a given quantity of energy with a higher power. And in this case, uh, the conversion is used. What kind of storage uh, modes are used? There is uh, sensible heat storage, latent heat storage, mechanical storage, chemical storage, electrochemical storage, and also hybrid systems, which combine some of the various methods. Renewable energy specialists have different mechanisms available and storage mechanisms available, and they must find which storage uh, process meets the needs. The main characteristics are the following storage is something that everybody wants, except that people want to forget about it and nobody wants to pay for it. It's always very expensive, too complex, and that's precisely an issue with storage. It is a subcomponent of a big process, so in order to develop storage methods, we have to find methods that operate on their own, can be forgotten, and do not cost too much and do not need too much maintenance operations. Storage must also meet environmental and society uh, 
needs. There is a lot of material that goes into the production of storage methods, and uh, they must not be environmental unfriendly. 